happy entertainment. So you're probably wondering why I have this bird on my shoulder. Uh, I've always wanted to be on Broadway. Well, actually, at first, I wanted to be an astronaut, but only because I thought it would, like the moon was made out of cheese. Wallace and Gromit had me fooled. But I also wasn't the smartest kid. I used to give myself hickeys because I thought it was made out of chocolate. It looked like nine-year-old Sydney was attacked by an octopus. I didn't try to eat anyone else, though, because I didn't think they were made out of chocolate. Uh, it, I know, it didn't make much sense to me either. Kodak Black is going to jail. Oh, yeah, 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 the bird. It makes pop culture references. That's why it's here. This is Rocket Raccoon the Parrot. I think he's actually a crow, but what do I know? <laughs> I never paid attention in science. And then instead of Rocket Raccoon the Parrot, his name would be Rocket Raccoon the Parrot, who's really a crow, but that's way too long, so I'll just keep calling him Rocket Raccoon the Parrot. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 the bird. I remember when I got him. Whoa, whoa, another camera. All cameras on me as I am your dope ass host, Sydney Lewis. Sorry, I'm Leo. Uh, I just like to be the center of attention, but I'm like super humble. <laughs> Do I believe in Zodiacs? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Do I believe in the Zodiac Killer? Absolutely. That man did it and got away without even standing before a jury of his peers. Then Lucy is not binary. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the bird. The bird is really cool because he keeps me up to date with entertainment news. And he keeps hanging on to me while I tap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a good tap dancer that I can still read the teleprompter while I'm tapping. By the way, you should all know that I was diagnosed with ADHD in the fifth grade. My mom thought I got it just to copy my brother and I didn't. It's a real problem that I grapple with every day. Putting on my shoes in the morning takes me 45 minutes. <laughs> the MCU is destroying oh. cinema as we know it. Oh. No! Rocket Raccoon the Parrot! I'll never forget the fateful day we met. Anyways. Jimothy, I can't. Wormy worm. You're my, you're my wormy girl. My baby worm. I know. But if you want to be with me, you'll have to stay. We can get married and be together forever. Uh, I have to go to the army. I can't. But, Jimothy, what about the children? What, what children? Those children! I don't know whose kids those are. Cut! Cut! This is all wrong, okay? You have to feel it, okay? I'll do better next time. You better, okay? You don't want to be here for another 12 hours, right? Didn't think so, all right? Take 34. Baby gummy girl, love you, sorry. So, you're telling me Jimothy, I'm, I'm pregnant, and I think it's probably yours. Cut! No! This is all wrong. This is all wrong. What is wrong? What is wrong with the scene? What is wrong with my movie? Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg. I need your help. What would make my movie perfect? I got it. I got it. This is your phone. It's going to complete my artistic vision. What? This is your phone. But this, this is a show. Do not question my artistic vision, OK? Action! So you're telling me that you're going in the army for 40 years? I am angry! Oh, Jimothy. 
Wormy girl, that was, that was not the time. Ah, uh, cut! No, 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 wrong! This is all... No, 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 no! No! You know what? You gotta do something right, you gotta do it yourself. All right, off my set, off my set. Gone, bye, bye, bye. You, bye. Out of here, my set, mine. Are you not entertained? <coughs> not really. What else can you do? Well, what do you want to see? Yes, you. Can you pat your head and rub your tummy? Do you know how to juggle? I will not be defined by my juggling. What else can I do for you guys? Can you file my taxes? Just get that W-2 to me by Friday, all right? Yeah. All right, good luck, good luck. Who's next? Can you fix my marriage? May I have the talking stick? Thank you. And Brenda, how does this lack of communication make you feel? It makes me feel unwanted. It's like as soon as I start a conversation, it's already over. Can you sing? Yeah. What song do you want? Do Starman. <clears throat> and I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me around to find. That's Elton John. Yeah! I wanted David Bowie! Boo! 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 Yay! Boo! 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 My tax filing pen. Yeah, Gore, that's too far. What are you mad? This kid's here. Squash, 
Hi guys, welcome back to the desk. My desk. Our guest this week is author Nzemenia Correct. So Nzemenia. According to the teleprompter, your diary is being turned into a coming-of-age film. Is that true? Yes. I got a chance to read some of your work. Very beautiful and touching, so inspiring. Would you like to tell the audience what it's about? Me. You want to read a little bit for us? Yes. diary. Bradley said hello to me today. I liked that. That's the whole excerpt? Yes. I, I love reading that chapter, but my personal favorite was... Dear diary, I think I stopped sweating one week ago today. Mother says a fire hose amount of water coming out of my sphincter wasn't normal. It got so bad, I started flooding the second floor study. Mother says it ruined all of her copies of original Mark Twain's. However, I think she overreacted because I think Mark Twain's a little namby-pamby. I don't really remember reading that chapter. You should probably go see a therapist or a doctor. God is the only healer. Dear Diary. All right. Papa ate all the chickens alive last night in the coop. The only thing I was worried about was the possibility of him getting salmonella and how it was going to affect me getting prom queen at the end of the month. The Bible says prom queen can't have salmonella. How am I supposed to kiss Bradley on the mouth if I have salmonella? How am I supposed to dry hump Bradley in the bathroom if I have salmonella? How are they turning this into a movie? They're not. Well, good thing I lied about reading it. Back to the episode. Dear Diary. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Uh, took a lot of confidence. I'm still in the closet, after all. All right, uh, I'm Lime Climb, and let's not waste any time as we welcome our first performer to the stage. Hey, guys. Um this is my first time performing, uh, so please don't be too harsh. Um, I came here with my friend Jessica so that I wouldn't be too nervous. Because maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my one. Thank you. Wow. That reminds me of the time where I gave all those peanuts to a bunch of horny elephants and things went horribly wrong. Or horribly right. 
You can be the judge of that. Anyway, now that that's done, let's please welcome to our stage the next performers. <clears throat> this is an adaptation of Shakespeare's, okay, I don't know the name, but it's the one where everyone dies at the end. Oh, my lady, you're so beautiful, so kind. Let your benevolent eyes gaze on thee with their gaze. Were you but a child, I would nurture you by my bosom, allowing you to suckle at my teeth. There's nothing in this world that I would want more. And what say you, fair maiden? I cheated on you. Wait, what? With who? George? Carl? Chris? Nick N? Joey? Kuzma? Efron? Barack? Oh no, none of those people. They're not really... Then who? It was Jessica. It's not fair! <laughs> Shakespeare? More like Shakespeare. Am I right? Shakespeare? Boo hoo? Can we laugh at that? Are we, are we allowed to laugh at that? Anyway, who's ready for our next performer? This goes out to the love of my life. Jessica. I, I, I'm Jessica. Humming into the breeze, I'll meet you there. There, at our spot, the one we share. As I gaze into your soul, a chill dances up my coat. After work, you return home. I peer into your window, closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And then what happens? Uh, oh, right, sorry. And now I'm in your room. Sniffing your aura and your perfume. <clears throat> or is that aftershave? Wait! I'm in your dad's room? Across the hall, I dash! You, I want to smash! Your brains, I want to bash! And then I take your cash. I wear your lock of hair my blonde moustache. Oh my god, it's the killer from the news! Jessica! Jessica! The camera wasn't the only thing that had a flash there. You know, because he, uh, he showed us his uh, jiggling Johnny, his uh, his staff of delight, his uh, his fiddle stick, his zucchini. What are you thinking about? Nothing really, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just bored. Yeah, me too. Entertain me. What? Entertain me. No. Why, why would I entertain you? I'm bored. No, me too. You entertain me.
Well, I. Our first category is Best Cinematography. And the nominees are Eric Bobbitt, Josh Joseph, Sidney Lewis, and Leon Shamroy. And the winner is Sidney Lewis! Thank you guys so much. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who's made the movie with me and uh, Linda, who chose me to be the director of cinematography. Uh, Gary, a crazy SOB. We did it. Um, oh, and my loving partner, Carol, who sacrificed so much for me to even get here. And my dad. I wish he could be here right now. And the winner. For best original screenplay is Sydney Lewis. Uh, gee, I I would like to thank the Academy for this. I didn't think I was getting a writing credit, but I truly appreciate it. Scusi, scusi, scusi. And the winner for best lighting design is Sydney Lewis. I've never touched a light in my life. Shout out to my gaffer, Joe. And the Oscar for best director is Brad, no last name. Wait, 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 wait. There's been a mistake. The real winner is Sydney Lewis. Well then, <laughs> this is a surprise, uh, but a welcome one. Thanks again, guys. And the winner for best supporting actor is 20 bucks says it's me again. <laughs> Cindy Lewis. The universe has bent to my will. Gods do walk among us, and I walk with them. And the nominees for Best Documentary are Sydney Lewis, <laughs> Sydney Lewis, Sydney Lewis, and finally. Sydney Lewis, and the winner is Sydney Lewis. <laughs> Sydney Lewis is one once again. Thank you, thank you. And the winner for best omelet goes. Two. Sydney Lewis. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to cook, but I'll take it. Folks, let me tell you something. This year's Nobel Peace Prize goes to Sydney Lewis for her contributions to award winning. Such a good sport. This is the only one I really wanted. Thanks, Dad. <laughs>